What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And oh, yes, I am a riveting and compelling individual full of content that no other YouTuber brings out there in the space today. And you know why? Because people want that shit. People want it real. And that's what I bring. Your anti-hero hero today in the space. Crypto Muscle. Come to you another two video. And so here we are. Bruxes. Bruxes. Financial investment. And this thing's been around since um, platform-wise since January of this year. Uh, they've done developmental stuff since I think middle of last year. And started putting pieces together and and kind of just piecing it together, piecing it together, piecing it together until they officially put it out there, right? And launched the platform. And so this platform brings you a, a unique and different opportunity. And if you've been following my channel... I talk about different classifications of platforms, right? So you got your long-term-ish type platforms, such as Cuba Life, Shine XL, right? And uh, I'll throw in BNB Profit in there. Then you talk about mid-level platforms in this class. And the mid-levels I refer to would be like Miralex, Tikra, Lifeser, and Bruxus. So... Mid-level is because, um, partly because of daily profit, but because also um, the flexibility in plans, right? In terms of, you could pick short-term plans, long-term plans, or in between, um, which none of the other types of platforms I talk about are like in terms of the classification. So hypes, obviously, they're higher risk, but they have the ability to come and go quickly, right? Days, months, I wouldn't say years, right, with hypes, but but it's fast money, and they could come and go, right? Whereas mid-level platforms, yeah, some come and go. I mean, it's just like anything else in crypto. But again, it's because you have the ability to go long-term, short-term plans, and then whatever perks they have associated with the platform. So Lifeser is a unique uh, progressive earning platform. Tikra is unique in its own way. Miralex is unique in its own way. And Bruxus is definitely unique in its own way. And I always say Bruxus has the ability and the pieces to be able to be, become a leader in the top of the class of what I coin as the mid-level class, right? Because of the things they have, the things they do, and the things they continue to uh, do. And so, that's what I like about Bruxus. And um, it's it's a cool platform. Uh, it's a way, right, to make passive income, right? Among many other ways we've been earning and winning, right, with all these different platforms I'm in. And so... Um, Bruxus is here it is, right? Challenging to be the leader in the class, right? And so, when you look at it, they have three different categories of what they call investments that you could put your money in or your deposit in to grow your crypto, right? So, one category is you can earn up to 2.6% a day on trading robots that's just the category that's separate from their actual trading bot that you can actually go into all right and so another category of plat of uh, plans is you can earn up to three percent per day on exchange transactions and then five percent per day on venture investments again these are different categories that you could go into to put your money in and to grow your crypto right so they have this diagram on how the money works for you and how you could go about growing it. 
in the different areas of this company and how they make the money and then how it all comes back to you right depending on whether or not you are not sharing links or you are sharing links right so that's just a breakdown how that works they say they do all these different things here uh, passive income algorithmic trading exchange operations which is their exchanger um, and things like that so they do they did this breakdown of how they've developed all the stuff they do money wise uh, crypto wise just different things they're trying to do to build their business and then they kind of like like I said they started doing their thing uh, mid 2020 right this is where they said the start of the attraction of investments from individual and legal entities then they really started to make a big push in January and now we are into April so here's March they did launch the trading robots last month advertising company is uh, something else that they're doing or in the works and that's where it's at so they have all this stuff going on they got Twitter they got I'm sorry telegram Twitter Facebook YouTube and Instagram and uh, all the varying amounts of uh, preferred money methods to put into this thing which is cool as well so when you first log in boom this is what pops up we are glad that you are a part of Bruxis and they just stay up to date with their channel telegram trust pilot the thing brothers they, they love this shit. I don't, I don't even read it, to be honest with you. So I don't even care about Trustpilot. But they put a lot of faith in that. Even when it's doing well, they say it's fake. And when it's doing... And then when the people that complain are the ones that they believe. And it's like, I don't know, it's just weird. But this is where my back office looks like. Um, I've been in this for a little while now. Since uh, I think it doesn't say when I first started, huh? Registration date blank. Oh, here we go, March 25th. So I haven't been in that long. <laughs> it's a little while, so a month basically. We'll, we'll just round it to a month. And um, yeah, I definitely stay on top of the Telegram group. So we'll take a look at what has recently occurred in Bruxis, right? So I'll start with the beginning of the month, right? They added Ripple. Uh, as a cryptocurrency to the platform, right? Uh, they've done things like uh, events, uh, gathering events, like in Nigeria, right? Oh, and by the way, they also have varying uh, Telegram chats. You look at all the different Telegram chats. They're in different, so many different languages. They announced they have Arabic now. They just added. They did another meet and greet sort of thing in Indonesia, right? What else they got? They added Bitcoin Cash just recently on April 9th. I mean, it keeps going. They did a... Uh, they continued talking about this uh, meet that they had here in Indonesia. They added uh, Monero on April 12th. So they keep continuing to add pieces to this company, right? They did another meet in Vietnam here. Look at all that, huh? Woo! All right, what else they got going? They they started doing this thing with company meetings as a new page on the website, just to kind of like you know like kind of highlight the, the the different meetings that they have in different places. So that's pretty cool when you look at it like that. And the next meeting of the Brux leaders took place in Indonesia again, right? So they did it once again in Indonesia. So what else they got here? They uh, talked about the other day. Oh, this is yesterday. So here's the latest update. Uh, there's been a surge in demand for Ethereum-based projects, which has resulted in significant increase in gas fees. So with that, they set new limits for transactions on USDT. Uh, minimum to replenishment means deposit is 150 USDT. Minimum withdrawal is 50 bucks. Uh, they said that 
we expect a sharp decrease in gas prices after the launch of 2.0. As soon as this happens, we'll return to the previous limits on replenishments and withdrawals. So there you go. And then here's another one. Term, uh, modification of conditions. So the trading robot that they have in the company has been successfully working for more than a month in a public version for investors who have fulfilled certain conditions on the platform. Today, we are pleased to announce that we are simplifying the conditions for obtaining a bot in order to increase the number of active traders. So you need to submit an application for access. You need to have $5,000 in personal deposits in total. And then from there, they will enable you. Uh, this will, We will be glad to enable more of the users to trade automatically. So, And that's in reference to this thing here. It says trading bots. So something to look at pretty interesting so that's the crypto thing here and they got a forex one coming soon it's interesting and so i got in this thing with a thousand dollars as i do with all mid-level platforms and it's something that i want to grow then i'll definitely grow it this is my structural turnover thus far all this stuff but yeah i went in with a thousand and I've accumulated more balances here. So it's now to take it all out. Maybe I could consolidate a little bit so I can meet with some of the thresholds of uh, pulling out. So let me see here. Yeah, so I'll go to withdraw now without further ado. So I can see all the different balances. All I got to do is hit the button and put in the amount and withdraw. One great feature is uh, this exchanger method here. I love the exchanger. Anytime a platform can offer that to consolidate, I'm all for it. So, for example, I got like Ripple. I got USDT. I got uh, Ethereum and Perfect Money. So, if I want it all in one, I could just exchange it all. I could move it all to Binance. I could move it all to Bitcoin. Yeah, I want it. The only one I really have interest in is either USDT, Binance, or Bitcoin, or ETH, right? That's about the only ones I'm really caring about. So, I don't care if there's fees and stuff. I'm just going to exchange it. So, $78, perfect money. I'll move it all. Why not? I'll put it into Bitcoin. Give me all of it. Um, yeah, give me all of it. 78 bucks exchange amount i'll put it all in i don't care clean that house i'm just gonna just clean everything move it all over I do like the usdt here maybe i'll keep that but i'll just move the ripple out into bitcoin so that way i could just get rid of that so 29.2 Exchange it. Just give it to me. I don't care. I want it all in one, just about one place. Ah, uh, what the heck? I'll I'll move uh, that into Bitcoin as well, or should I move it into USDT? Uh, I'll, I'll just do that. I'll, I'll move USDT over to theory. Actually, no. I'll keep these three. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep these three and pull all this out now. So I should have three different amounts. All right. So there we go. Let's just pull this out. Hopefully I have enough Bitcoin to pull out. And then uh, if not, then I'll exchange that too. Oh, there it is. Completed. I'm just going to keep it going. Ethereum. And uh, these are manual withdrawals, by the way. Just like any other platform. Got to wait for a little bit. Ooh. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to move that to uh, Tether. Or, yeah, I'll, move it, I'll condense it to Tether. Actually, I shortchanged myself now. I should have just put it all into this Bitcoin and get it all out. But now I got 20 here and I got like, I don't know, whatever this here. I won't be able to get it out. But anyhow, let's take a look at my deposits real quick before I go. So 1,000 in. This is what I've accumulated, right? And then I'll get this back to you in the end. So that's where I stand, 17 into 31. So yeah, comment down below, links down below. 
It's a great one. See you next one.